Oh, yes! Oh my god. Yeah, girl, honestly, slap. This is gonna be your last. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey guys, it's Michaela, and welcome back to another Ace Attorney video. Ah, <sighs> you guys, we have finally arrived at the finale, or what I believe is the finale, of the second case of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Reunion and Turnabout has been interesting. I will give it that. And I will say that in my opinion, I do think I wrapped this case up pretty well in the previous video, but apparently the game has different plans because the evidence that I provided to the court, they did not deem worthy of a not guilty conviction or a not guilty verdict rather. So today we have one mission. We need to prove the motive that I have had as a theory for several episodes now. And if I'm wrong, I will throw my hands up and say that I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong, you guys. It's very simple. Eeny Miney killed Dr. Gray to avenge her sister's death because she believes Dr. Gray drugged her sister with sleeping pills, causing her sister to fall asleep while driving with Eeny Miney in the car, which resulted in a car crash, which killed Mimi and severely injured Eeny. But Eeny couldn't do it alone, so she conspired with Morgan. They were in cahoots, if you will, and Morgan helped her concoct and execute her plan. No pun intended. Morgan's motive was to eliminate Maya, the final member of the main family, other than Misty, who is missing to make room for her daughter, Pearl Fay, the prodigy, to become the leader. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. There's also one outstanding question that I've had for several videos that I'm hoping gets answered today. And that question is, how the fork did Maya's fingerprints end up on the knife and the gun, the murder weapon? For the beginning of this case, we thought that Maya was the one who transformed into Mimi, but we learned last episode that it was actually Eeny who transformed into Mimi. So how? In the world, did Maya's fingerprints get on the knife and the gun? I guess if Eni drugged Maya and then put her in the box, I guess she had unfettered access to Maya's hand and could have placed her fingerprints on them, but that that is so outlandish. And again, when would she have had time to do that between her trying to kill Dr. Gray and not getting caught? I, I don't know. The whole thing makes no sense to me still. But I am hoping today we will get the answers we are so desperately looking for. And to round out reunion and turn about, the candle of the day is Lavender Marshmallow. She is brand new. And the purpose for this candle is the lavender because, you know, it's relaxing. Today's gonna be the final trial day. I'm sure, you know, Von Karma is not gonna make it easy for me. But to round out the lavender is a little bit of marshmallow for the sweet, sweet victory I am hoping to achieve in today's trial. So with that being said, I hope you all are as excited to be here as I am. And I thank you for being here with me as we finally, finally get some answers. Cheers. Another thing is I want to know where Misty Faye is. Like the episode is called Reunion and Turnabout. What was the reunion? Maya and Phoenix? Absolutely not. Like, I, I really hope that we find out where the heck Misty is in this episode as well. That's, that's my second thing I'm hoping for. Okay, episode two, reunion and turnabout, part four dash two, trial. Here we go, guys. June 22nd. Okay, so this is our recess, if you will. Yeah. Maya, yeah, that's honestly, that must be devastating. Like homegirl's mom is missing. MIA, no dad, dead sister, her whole aunt turned on her now. I mean, God, God, ugh. I feel for her so badly. Girl, don't get me started. I'm so sorry. Absolutely not. Franziska, this is the defendant lobby. You don't get... You can't be here, Franziska. Go be in the prosecutor's lobby. What are, what? Oh my 
god. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that, but... <laughs> Why are you... Guards? Hey, guards! No? Okay. Alright. What is going on right now? Ugh! Right! I'm suing! Okay, good goal. It won't happen, but good goal. Dang. Oh, we're really getting into it right now. Okay, yeah, Francisca, let's talk about your real motive here. Oh, speechless. No words? Huh, yeah, what whatever. Okay. Okay, sounds good to me, girl. Get out of here. The heck was that? Okay, back in the courtroom where we all belong. Yes, Judge. Yes, I can. I believe. <laughs> okay, before we get to any presentation, I just want to do a quick review of the evidence. We have our attorney's badge. We have the newspaper clipping of the 14 people who died at the surgical clinic where this all started. We have the Magatama. We have a guide of the manor. We have another newspaper clipping that tells us that there were two women in the car. One woman was able to escape. Driver fell asleep at the wheel. Yada, yada, yada. And then the whole, where is it? Yeah, the whole Miss Eenie Miney is to, if she's to be believed. Then Mimi was driving the car, which, again, I also hope that's addressed today. And then it goes over the nurse thing as well. We have the folding screen with the 8-inch off-the-ground bullet hole. How could we forget? The black key that ended up in the incinerator. The floor plans of the channeling chamber where this all went down. The autopsy report, which proves he was stabbed before he was shot, but the shot is what killed him. The actual pistol with Maya's fingerprints. The knife with Maya's fingerprints, Maya's costume with the blood. We have the first photo Lotta, Lotta took, which shows a dead Dr. Gray in a pool of blood. Love to see it. We have the second photo that shows whoever was channeling whoever. It, they were channeling Mimi. Okay. We have the urn that Pearl broke that's really supposed to say Amy. The clothing scrap that was also in the incinerator. We have Pearl's ball. The clothing box where Amy was hiding before the all of this went down also an eight inch bullet hole and then we have a licensed photo and then we know our players the deceased the defendant her sister detective pearly girly the aunt eeny mimi lot of the witness the prosecutor amy and director hottie purported okay now that we're all caught up eeny miny and dr gray have one point of connection correct Ooh, yes, Eni, please do. Yeah, we're getting there. Don't you worry, we're getting there. Well, luckily for us, Eni, you seeing the point, not required. Not required. <laughs> Don't need it from me, girl. Thanks, though. Okay, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you for that. In May, okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Right. That it sounds literally terrifying, but yes. Also, just, I know Eni is a murderer, right? Sure. But let's just take a second to just sympathize for her for five seconds, guys. Because imagine waking up to a pool of fire around you and having to crawl out of it, having your face burnt so badly that you need facial reconstruction surgery. Trauma, okay? But back to her being a murderer. 
I'm sure you have, Judge. We've talked about it several times, I feel like. Have we not? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Von Karma. Thanks, Judge. Hope your face is okay. I mean, correct. Okay, but in my opinion, you guys, we don't need to prove that Dr. Gray, in fact, drugged Mimi. All we need to prove is that Eni thought Dr. Gray drugged Mimi. That's all we need for a motive, but I guess another angle we'll go to. All right, y'all know the drill. We have five stacks of life, exactly half our bar. So we're not starting the highest point, but it could be worse. Right, how coincidental. Okay, does it say that in the court record? Yes. And does it say the date of the car accident? Yes, May 24th, okay. All right, so 22 days in between. Got it. Hmm. I did not answer my question. <laughs> okay. Also, God, so much hearsay. Like, none of this would actually come in in real life, but I'm, I'm glad it's coming in here, because if it wasn't, we would have nothing. Okay. Um, also known as relevance, your honor. Mm. Right. Because it's in writing. Even though we don't actually know if that was true. Hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Press harder. Absolutely. Well, she was tired too. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Judge. <laughs> that information before it just says late it also says late last night okay whatever not gonna overthink that okay so we think it was 1 a.m. interesting okay right Well, her being tired has nothing to do with the crash. She wasn't driving. Right. Said that before. You didn't see her? Oh my God. That's crazy. 
Oh. Okay. You like opened the door and like got away. Period. Can you open a door when the car's on fire? Like, is there not pressure that keeps it from being open? Or is that just underwater? Maybe that's what I'm thinking about. But if the car's on fire, it's very possible for everything to be so burnt it won't open. Anyways. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh-huh. We do. We do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Yes, Mia. Girl, what do you want me to do? Go rough her up? I mean, it's not sleeping. I think it's wide awake, actually. Yeah, Mia, no problem, girl. Give me a second. Like, dang. Okay. I didn't have my license, but I have a photo from your license. <laughs> Doesn't get much clearer than that. <laughs> Phoenix really just said, Miney, if you're gonna lie, lie better. And honestly, word. <laughs> sure is. Edie, have you not learned by now that I'm going to catch you if you lie? Like, just stop. Stop wasting all of our time. Oh, now you just remember? But what? But what? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eni's photo for her driver's license. If her face was burnt so badly, didn't Dr. Hottie purported say that this is the photo they used to reconstruct her face? So, Guys, that's not possible. How do I prove that though? Hmm. Oh, maybe I don't have to. Ah, period, Phoenix. Answered my question. Or the guy pretending to be him anyway. That's so funny. <laughs> yes, Eni. That 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 one precisely. Also known as a relevance objection, Francisca, you're going to get it, babe. I, I believe in you. If you keep working and practicing and studying hard, you will learn how to object appropriately without abusing me. <sighs> Last November? What month are we in in this game again? I don't even remember. I think June? Did it just say June? I'm asking you guys as if you could answer. Did it say June? I'm pretty sure. So you're claiming you got your license in November when the crash happened in May? Mm-mm. Mm-mm, girl. So you're saying Dr. Hottie's lying? Let's get Dr. Hottie on the stand. How about that? Okay, so somebody's lying, Francisca. It's not that difficult. Judge, what is wrong with you? What, like, what is actually wrong with you? Why? So she says, and we're believing her now? That's a crazy statement. That's a crazy statement. I mean, not legally, at least. Okay, but why are you saying that? If you didn't have your license, it wouldn't matter. Francisca, we 
Wait, what the heck? Mia? 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 Absolutely not. You don't even have a whip. What is going on? <sighs> you don't say. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be allowed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> yeah, me neither, Phoenix. My dream car has always been a Toyota Camry, so not the best person, but alas. Okay. What does that mean? What do you mean really close? Six months to me is not really close. Right. Correct. I don't think that means you're really close, but okay, I guess. You know what, Eni? Phoenix doesn't drive. Okay, let it go. Leave it alone. Yeah, Phoenix, we don't need to get into it, babe. Francisca! Oh, what are you talking about? What ignorance? What ignorance? Thank you. Thank you. Makes sense. Hmm. A drop of rain. Wow. Okay. A little obsessive if you ask me. Literally. Absolutely press harder. So? Brand spanking new cars get rained on, babe. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if it gets dirty, it can be cleaned. So not that deep. Right, right. I don't know. Thanks, Mia. Mia, why are you... I, I'm sensing a little um, rudeness from you today, girl. I don't know what's going on. You got that new body and you don't know how to handle it. I don't like that. Ooh, what kind of... Oh, yeah. Bright red sports car. I want to get a little bit more specific than that, but I guess I'll take it. from the UK. That's oddly specific for a game set in Japan, California to mention the UK. Okay, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Phoenix, we're just doing our best right now with what we have, babe. That's all we can do. From England, okay. Okay. Shout out to y'all if you're from England. Uh, let me know if any of you saw Mimi at the dealerships. <laughs> Phoenix. Ask for the heck of it. <laughs> oh my God. This is hilarious. Oh yeah, well actually, at least what I, to what I know about cars, which is not a lot, 
foreign cars are typically better, right? Like Toyota. I, I would give you more examples, but I don't want to be wrong. I'm just pretty sure Toyota's from Japan. Am I making this up? Let me let me just continue. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> You're so right. Why would you wait in the States? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, we're in the States now? I'm so confused. Are we in the United States now? What is going on? Okay, let's assume that means in the States and that the car was opposite. Then yeah, the driver would have been on the right, which is odd. Okay. Correct. I, I could not imagine. And like, you guys drive on like the left side of the road instead of the right side. I would just simply never be able to drive in a foreign country. It just wouldn't work. No, actually though. Are we? The contradiction is she chose a, a, a made a poor decision purchasing her vehicle. I don't not seeing it yet. Mm -hmm. Racing queen of the nursing world. What a goal. What a goal. <laughs> Alright, last statement. And I don't have nothing yet. Wait! Oh, okay, okay. But the passenger side door was on the left? Can I see that video again? I mean, I don't have it in my evidence. But wasn't the, the, the left door the one in... The concrete barrier? Hold on. Yeah. Girl, how did you even get your door open? Maybe that's the contradiction. She said she opened the passenger side door, but if the passenger side door was on the left, then maybe I present this, because this says that the two women crashed into the highway center divide. I opened the right door. That's the con. Okay, so this is the evidence, 100%. It's just, where do we present it? Hmm. This is weird. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I agree, Mia. I agree. No, no. I know what I'm doing, girly. Don't you worry. Period. <laughs> okay. We just need to make sure it's the right statement, you guys. Which I'm pretty sure it's the final one. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. It has to be this one, right? Let's just make sure. Let's triple check. For the passenger side door. This has to be it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We got this, you guys. We freaking got this. Okay. We're presenting the newspaper clipping too. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Right door. Eeny. So was the car British or was the car American? And why does this matter?
Eeny, what, what it? In an American car. In an American car. In an American car. Correct. Correct. Exactly. Precisely. Oh, Franziska, you didn't see that one coming. Where's your whip? Okay, before we encroach into whatever the fork this is about to be, I would like to take all of you back to this, this, which I have been saying was questionable the entire time. If Miss Eeny Miney is to be believed, the one driving the car was her sister, if she is to be believed, which means if she's not to be believed, then she was driving the car. And that would make sense as to how she where is it where is it where is it <laughs> how she opened the right door if she was driving but why would she lie about driving i mean i guess that well no okay that's that's a, i understand why she would lie about that because then she could be charged with vehicular homicide for killing her sister but then why does she have beef with Dr. Gray if she was the one driving? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. whip the judge when he's literally calling order to the court like what more do you want him to do <laughs> yeah she said a lot of things girl i don't know what to tell you yes mia i'm on a roll so please don't interrupt me what thank you but i still don't understand Oh, Eeny, that's what I think. Now, I guess. I mean, again, it makes sense why she would lie about that for the sole purpose of if she doesn't and the cops knew she was the one driving and killed her sister, then yeah, she could have been charged for that criminally. But what the fork does that have to do with Dr. Gray? But now now my, my theory is falling apart. Judge, have you been not been here the whole time? <laughs> Correct. <sighs> Franziska, are we really about to sit here, sit here and claim that no one has ever driven without a valid driver's license before. Is that is that what we're doing? Is that what we've resorted to? Because I thought you were better than that. I really did. <laughs> wow, Phoenix is really saying, yeah, the accident happened because she didn't have a freaking license. She didn't know how to freaking drive. I really don't, Mia, can you help me? <laughs> Ah, yes, outside the box. That is what we always say. If we connect all the dots. Okay, okay. Okay, see, now I'm getting stressed because what? Do you, why are they asking me this again? Okay, I guess we're going to go with Mimi.
because I already chose Eni. Okay, so what? Okay, okay, see that's where I have to draw the line. Cause what are you talking about? Franziska, I'm with you, babe. I'm on your side now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. See, I see what the game is. I think I think I see what the game is getting at. So let's 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 play the game's little game, okay? Let's let's explore this hypothetical. Is the game saying Here's where I'm at, y'all. Car fire, right? Edie had to get facial reconstruction surgery because her fa her face was so poorly burned. Let's presume it was so poorly burned that it was it, it was unrecognizable, okay? Other homegirl died in the fire. So I guess maybe her body was so burnt up they couldn't see who it was. So y'all are telling me that this is Mimi Miney? That Mimi's the one that was driving. Okay, hold on, I'm so sorry. Mimi was the one that was driving. She actually did get sleepy because of the sleeping pills. She killed her sister, Eenie, who was in the passenger seat, which is the side that slammed into the concrete barrier. Both of their faces were so poorly burnt that nobody could recognize them. So Mimi just decided to say she was Eenie for what? Now, to answer that question, is this the reason? Is it because Mimi now had a poor reputation for being blamed for being the nurse who caused all the patients to die, so she decided to take over Eni's life? I mean, that's crazy. It would explain why Dr. Gray died, but come on, guys. Okay. I think that that has to be what the game is trying to get at. But like, I, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I'm sorry. I'm just imagining. I'm sorry. Listen, I have a, I have a little sister. Okay. I am Mimi. My little sister's Eni. Okay. There's no way. There's no way that if this happened to us, our family, our friends wouldn't be able to tell that I decided to take over my sister's identity. Our bodies are different. How we talk is different. Everything is different. That's why I'm confused. Okay, let's just present it. Again, get Dr. Hottie purported up here. ASAP. Yes. disgusted i'm i'm disgusted oh my god oh my god oh my god bro 
That is sick. That is sick. Sick. You are sick, dude. Ther we're past therapy, okay? We are past therapy. Mental institution, lock her up indefinitely. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been saying that. I mean, I said that, yeah. Franziska, babe, you can't deny it forever. Like, at some point, you're gonna have to understand that you're wrong. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Right? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, because I think that's what Phoenix is about to get at. Because now I just realized Mimi, Mimi, because it's Mimi now, right? Mimi couldn't channel herself because she wasn't dead. So how did she transform into Mimi's face? Hold on, hold on. Right, so how did she look like Mimi then? Explain. Okay, right, I, uh-uh, I'm confused, yeah, okay, No, 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 no. Unless I missed something, guys, I that's a valid question, right? Like, look at this photo. This is very clearly Mimi. I mean, yeah, Mimi. How did she get, how did she look like this? Unless that is Maya. Oh God, I'm so confused. No. Uh-uh, no, no, no. I do not like when there are question marks. Oh God, who is talking? What? I am, I am bewildered right now. Girl. <laughs> because of the malpractice incident. <sighs> I don't even need to think about this, guys. Yeah. Lucky number 15. I just, I, I, I cannot believe this. I really can't. Could you not have just said no? Okay, I'm sorry. 
If you became Eni, why couldn't Eni have just lost interest in all of that and not done it? Yes, yes. Thank you, Judge. Please, let's get into them. Okay, sure. Not how I would have phrased it, but fine. That, we haven't gotten into yet, but I'm happy to answer that regardless. Well, yes. Period. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take a pause. I'm gonna take a quick break, a quick detour, an intermission from being pissed and confused at Mimi and enjoy what's about to happen here because you know what guys we did it again we have brought another Von Karma down and I would like to relish in that moment for a second haha <laughs> were you were perfect and honestly that's a stretch mm. Francisco Von who? <laughs> oh yes uh, oh my god yeah girl honestly slap that this is gonna be your last okay 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 whoa 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 sorry <laughs> judge there is no way you're going to just gloss over what just happened right like there <laughs> oh my god bro what <sighs> guys 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 I know, okay? I, I can see the comments now. Michaela, how are you still so surprised? Michaela, you know that Ace Attorney is absurd. Michaela, but guys, how, how can we allow the prosecutor to quite literally hit me so many times that I lose consciousness and we're just like, yeah, yeah, he'll he'll come back to us eventually. I cannot. I'm I am at a loss for words. I really am. And Phoenix doesn't even get to witness it? He's the one that This is absolutely ridiculous. Are you joking right now? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Guys. Oh my God. Ace Attorney, you've done a lot of things, but this, this, this is... Oh, God. This is worse than the parrot testifying, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that right there was absolutely insane. Aww. Okay, wait, but this makes it worth it a little bit, though. Very cute. Would still love to see Maya not in Pearl's body, but we'll take it. Cute. No, queen. Once again, we have proven your innocence. <laughs> yeah, we never really touched on that. Oh. Oh, cute. Oh, that one hurts my heart a little bit. That one hurts a little bit. Phoenix, first of all, welcome back. Welcome back. Hi. Second of all, there's several things I still don't get. Ha! 
Hi, Maya. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to withhold my comments because I don't know how this is going to end, but I have quite a few things to discuss with you guys, okay? <laughs> yeah, me neither, Maya. Can we stop finding ourselves in these situations? Can we stop meeting like this, please? Please. But what if you didn't? Ugh. And why did we never really talk about the aunt? Happily, I would love to. I would love to. Phoenix, please explain. Or Mia, somebody. No, bro, why don't you just tell her? Oh, awesome. Okay, I didn't know I would be the one doing it. Um, God. Uh, okay, okay, okay. What proves my theory? Oh, I know what the answer is. Pearl. Pearl's the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. It's not great. I thought so? What do you mean you thought so? <laughs> Solitary confinement? Who are we seeing? Please make it Morgan. Please make it Morgan. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's freaking crazy. That annoying, witless main family girl. Y'all, it be your own people. It really do. Like, jeez. Poor Maya. Can't someone love her how she deserves? Please. That's freaking, you're insane, dude. God, you, sh you, you are exactly where you deserve to be. What do you mean the end? Oh my God. Turnabout big top, okay. <sighs> where do we begin? Here's the thing guys, usually, usually, these cases have wrapped up very nicely. I have understood everything, my questions have been answered. That's not how I'm feeling right now. So for those of you who are super big fans of this franchise and research outside of the game and have all these theories and stuff, I'm gonna need your help. Please leave me a comment down below explaining some of these things if you can, because I am thoroughly confused. Question number one, how did Maya's fingerprints end up on the knife and the gun? That still, to me, was not addressed. And how did Mimi slash Eni slash whoever she was as fingerprints not end up on the gun? Two, if Mimi did not want to be involved in this paranormal, paranatural stuff, why, when she became Eni, did she not just decide not to do it? Like, I'm that's a plot hole for me right there. And I know I had a third question that I mentioned a little bit earlier in this video that I am having trouble recalling right now, but I mentioned it earlier. Just listen, guys. If you have any theories that can help me out a little bit, please let me know. I would love to read and explore them with you because I am still left with a lot of questions. I am a little disappointed we didn't get to explore the whole Misty face situation but clearly Morgan even though she is quite literally in solitary confinement 
is not finished with her plan. So I suspect we will be exploring that in hopefully the near future. I'm very curious to see what happens with Francisca because they didn't really like hammer that point out either. She said, oh my God, no, I'm perfect. And then that was it. So will she be coming back to prosecute? Is she done? I don't know. Until then, however, as you guys saw, the next case is Turnabout Big Top which I have heard from probably dozens of you at this point, how terrible the case is. But you know what? That just makes me more excited to play it. When a lot of people tend to share the same opinion, for whatever reason, my brain immediately goes to no. Prove them wrong. What if this is actually the best case? What if you guys just haven't seen it in the right light? <laughs> Realistically, y'all are probably still gonna hate it after I play it, but hey, maybe I'll change some of your minds. Maybe I won't hate it as much as y'all do, or honestly, maybe I'll hate it more. I cannot wait to find out together. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for sticking through this with me. I hope you enjoyed this case. I cannot wait to get into the next one, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye and go thrive. Also, I think I'm gonna hit 3,000 subscribers soon, which is crazy, and I will be doing another YouTube Live, so stay tuned, okay? Check in, all my foreign people, all my foreign subbies. I will be doing it at a time that works for everybody, hopefully. Stay tuned, okay, bye!